Hello, we're Mark and Sue and we are Jewish and today we are going to talk about some aspects of Jewish practice in the home. Observant Jews take their rules for life from the Torah, which is the same as the first five books of the Bible, Genesis through to Deuteronomy. The Torah also shows us that God is indivisible, begins the stories of the beginnings of Jews and all humankind. You will have heard of the Ten Commandments, but these are just the headliners of the most important ones. There are actually 613 commandments listed in the Torah, and they cover every aspect of life, from birth, education, coming of age, and marriage to death, including prayer, personal hygiene, and food. We're going to talk to you about the rules of the food and how it affects us, as well as our weekly festival, Shabbat, the Sabbath festival. The word Shabbat is a Hebrew word, which is the language we use, and you will hear us saying some prayers in Hebrew, which we will then translate for you, and also some other Hebrew words which we would explain. Kashrut. Kashrut is the name for the rules that ensure food is good to eat. Food must be correct, clean and proper. The word for this is kosher. Fruit and veg is all fine, but must be washed, as we are not allowed to eat insects, so no bugs. Animals. They must have a cloven hoof and chew the cud, so we can eat cows, sheep, goats and deer, but not pig, as we can, and we cannot eat any product from the pig either, as they do not chew the cud, so no bacon or sausages either. Birds. No scavengers or carnivores. So yes to chicken, duck and turkey, no to crows and vultures. Fish, no scavengers, so yes to cod, plaice and herring, no to swordfish, shellfish and lobster. Dairy products, dairy products may not be consumed either, with or for three hours after a meat product. Milk is a life-giving substance, which we give to newborn babies and animals. To eat meat, we must have killed. Should we have life and death together? There is also a chance of the food curdling. Shabbat. No work at all is allowed. This is like Sunday used to be in Britain, but more so. Shabbat, like all days in the Jewish calendar, starts at sunset and ends when there are three stars visible in the sky the following night. In the case of Shabbat, Friday evening to Saturday night. On Shabbat there is no carrying, no schoolwork, no cooking, no flame or spark, so no TV, computer or mobile. Sue is plaiting a loaf from pre-prepared dough to make challah, the traditional loaf that we use on Friday night. Shabbat starts with a special family meal at sunset on Friday. The bread recipe is at the end. The table is set with a pair of candles, two plaited loaves of bread and wine. The candles mark the change from the working week to rest time. The wine represents happiness and celebration and the bread for which we thank God is for sustenance. Two loaves represent the double portion of manna sent to the Jews in the desert by God on a Friday so they didn't have to collect it on Shabbat. We sprinkle the bread with salt before using it in part as salt in the climate where the tradition started was essential for life, so a sign of hospitality, and in part as the salt reminds us of tears so when we celebrate Shabbat, we remember those less fortunate than ourselves. On Shabbat, no work at all is allowed. This is like Sunday used to be in Britain, but more so. Shabbat, like all days in the Jewish calendar, starts at sunset and ends when there are three stars in the sky the following night. On Shabbat, there is no carry, no schoolwork, no cooking, no flame or spark, so no TV, computer, 
or mobile. We light the candles for the blessing followed by the wine and the bread with blessings in Hebrew and English. I wear a kippah head covering. When praying, Jews cover their heads as a sign of respect to God and say the blessings. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav Betzivanu, Lachadik Ne'er Shel Shabbat. We praise the eternal God, Sovereign of the Universe, who sanctified us by your commandments and commanded us to kindle the Sabbath lights. Sue colours her eyes and then uncolours them, so that the first thing she sees on Shabbat are the Shabbat candles. I then pour a little wine and say a blessing over the wine. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Barei Peri Hagafen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. I then take the cover off the challah. I start cutting with a tool and then symbolically tear so that I'm not using a tool for that. I then add some salt and say the blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min HaAretz Blessed art thou, Lord our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. We each take a peace and after the blessing we greet each other with Shabbat Shalom, a peaceful Sabbath. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. After the restful prayer time of Shabbat, we end on a Saturday evening when we see three stars in the sky with a special ceremony called Havdalah. Havdalah, we light a plaited candle as plaits, like everything in life, are all intertwined together and whatever we do affects someone else. We drink a little wine and after saying a blessing, we sm smell sweet spices and say another blessing. Our sense of smell is the sense most evocative of mem memory, and so the sweet smell of the spices helps us to remember and to remind us of the sweetness of Sabbath carried over into the walk working week. Baruch atad Henu melech alam, Bare Peri Hagafen. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, sovereign of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Bare Mine Vesamin. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, creator of different kinds of spices. We light the candle and we say in Hebrew Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Morei HaEsh We praise you eternal God, sovereign of the universe, creator of light. And traditionally the woman holds the candle at the height that she would like her husband to be or the height that he is. Finally, we say the greeting, wishing each other a good week. Shavuatov. Shavuatov. Have a good week.